Dear Mike Arnott, uh, uh, trade union is from Dundee, secretary of Dundee Trade Trades Union Council and a member of the Scottish TUC General Council. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, so let's start with uh, what does Abdullah Öcalan mean for the Kurdish people from your perspective? I think he's an incredibly important figure and has actually grown in importance as far as the need for progress, the need for peace, uh, the need for development, not just in the context of the Kurdish people and the situation in Turkey, but as we've seen by his influence in Rojava and in other areas, it's paramount to progress in the, the Middle East as well, that Osalan is regarded uh, with the importance he has and that he is recognized as an important and essential component in any peace and progress in Turkey and the broader Middle East. Thank you. Why is Öcalan's freedom is so important? Uh, how would you like to, to evaluate his, uh, his crucial uh, freedom? Well, his, his continued imprisonment is, is an impediment to progress. Uh, it allows the Turkish government to continue in, and the international community to continue to treat the, uh, the rights of the Kurdish people with impunity, to ignore them. It's denying the Kurdish people their accepted figurehead and a significant representative of international importance who's developed a whole range of proposals for peace and development and for progress uh, both as far as Turkey and the wider Kurdish area is concerned. Uh, democratic confederalism and a whole range of other important progress developments that Osalan has put forward uh, can't really be developed in his absence. And the importance of him as a figure uh, in these developments and in achieving peace uh, has to be recognized not just by Europe, by uh, Western political leaders, uh, but by the uh, Turkish government and all governments who are interested in progress and development in this area. You have mentioned democratic confederalism as well. What is the significance of Erdogan's articulation of democratic confederalism? It's a game changer. And I think people have seen that as its development in Rojava, as far as the, the role of women, the role of bringing together different communities, different cultures, different ethnicities to work together for progress, as seen in Rojava, is not just uh, important in that area, it's important for peace and development in the whole of the Middle East uh, and potentially even further. It's a major game changer in the way it's demonstrated, not just in the theory, but the way in which it's demonstration in Rojava and in the, in the, in the Kurdish territories has illustrated what can be done as far as women's development and as far as progress is concerned. It's hugely important uh, that we are allowed to develop this, uh, this program, his ideas, and he's allowed to do that in person as part of the forward role of progress towards peace and towards uh, uh, a positive development. Thank you. How is Öcalan's imprisonment indicative uh, of the indicious logic of the so-called war on terror? 
It's another example of how an enemy of democracy, in this case the Turkish government, can portray their own uh, their own internal opposition as terrorists. It's happened across the world. It's happening in Russia. It's happened in places like uh, Uzbekistan, where anti-democratic tendencies can cover themselves and can seek world acceptance and world support by portraying their internal divisions as evidence of terrorism. Uh, it's a retrograde uh, tendency, and it's a tendency that, as I said, the example of Uzbekistan, uh, where torture and uh, murders of uh, opposition was given as the example of this is these are terrorists that are being tortured, these are terrorists that are being murdered, and therefore the West must support uh, the authoritarian anti-democratic governments because they are bastions against terrorism. What responsibility does the European Union and Britain have for Abdullah Öcalan's ongoing imprisonment and what should be done about it? Uh, it's vitally important that Europe puts, dem uh, puts political pressure on the Turkish government and that Britain and other Western countries put political pressure on the Turkish government to respect democracy, uh, to allow freedom for Ocalan and others who are the democratic opposition within Turkey. The problem is that, as I've said, it's this portrayal of the PKK, this portrayal of Ocalan as being terrorists that allows Turkey to get away with scrutiny and allows Turkey to get away with uh, upholding democratic treaties and human rights treaties that it's a signatory to. Uh, it's vital that we pressurize Europe and we pressurize the British government in this country uh, to turn that on its head and to demand that Ocalan and his government respect human rights, uh, respect treaties and agreements that they've signed up to. And that means the release of Ocalan and the, uh, the ending of the demonization and the te domestic terrorism that's been perpetrated on Kurdish communities within Turkey. Thank you. Lastly, uh, the Freedom for Öcalan campaign that you are a part of it as well also is growing and now Freedom for Öcalan shall pretty well. Uh, how important is the campaign and what is your call to others to support the campaign? I would call on others who see uh, the, the need for peace in Turkey and for the recognition of the democratic rights and civil, civil rights of particularly the Kurdish people, the people that want the peaceful settlement in wider Kurdistan and in areas of uh, Turkey, Syria and Iraq that are covered in that uh, to support the call for Ocalan's freedom support the call for his views and his policies and those that support him to be able to put those at the table of European and world diplomacy to bring peace and to bring progress to not only Turkey and wider Kurdistan, but to act as template for potential democracy and democratic advances throughout the Middle East and beyond. Dear Mike, are not uh, trade unionists from Dundee, uh, Secretary of Dundee Trades uh, Union Council and a member of the Scottish TUC General Council. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for your valuable comments today. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.